Uh. What's up with all that drip you got on today? <laughs> Please. Huh? Balling out. The bag came through. <laughs> bag came through, you know. I got on my my good my good threads today. Why when you move the chains it sound like uh aluminum? What? This is straight solid gold. You ever watched that show when you were a kid? This is or gold. was that before your time? Solid gold. Solid gold. Marilyn McCoo. I'm solid gold dancers. Please. Okay, just check out. I know that. I don't. Just had to see. I can't remember the what was the main dude's name? Uh was it Don Cornelius. I, you know, I actually don't remember his name. I remember Marilyn McCoo, but Don Cornelius was was No, Soul he Train. was Soul Train. Yeah. And then what's his name? Ed McMahon was on Star Search. Yeah. And then Danny Ter- Danny Terrio's Dance Fever. Was it it wasn't Dick Clark, was it? On Solid Gold? No. I don't I, I don't know why. The I, only I reason I remember right. Marilyn McCoo is because right. my mom watched every Because that name is ridiculous. That is that is ridiculous. Uh, here we are recording live from the After the Person Trap House. This Great. is true. This is episode 32. I didn't take any time to think about this one, George. Man. How about this? I got more drift than you. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to let that one go. That's perfect. Taking this over these. True. I'm taking over these rhymes. Oh, no. For the 2020. That's the only one I got. Oh, though. no. That's the only one. You're going to have to come back for 33. Uh, another great week in the books uh, that I love. Man, this is great. I look forward to Sundays now. I do, too, except I can go a lot. I'd be, I'd be tired as hell every Sunday. Oh, I don't man. know why. Oh, I'd say, you know what? I know you. If You always say that I know what George is doing if I just follow stories on his Instagram. And the fact that you said that to me is the reason why I didn't post anything from Friday night. Um, I, I did what you did on Friday. Night. I took, I just went out, just went out, wanted right. to, you know, so many, so many Fridays gone through where you, you get home and you just sit there until you get tired and you go to sleep. I want to, I want to go oh, out. It's me all the time now. And it's not that I want to go out and spend money or stuff. I want to hang out with people. I want like, I feel like, you know, people are conversing and having a good time and not necessarily liquor related, but you know, just, it's just out. a matter of hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. And it's cool. You know, get you know, wife get out of the house, do all this stuff. So, uh, we went over to the district. I like, I do like that place. Okay. But uh, they got an Irish bar there, uh, Richie McNeely's. Little okay. shout out. They didn't give me anything free at all. But well, then we are gonna um, leave that out. But right next door is uh, is Parkway, and cool vibe. They had a live a live singer in there. It was it was he was singing. I don't you know Parkway all, Tavern. Yeah. Okay. He was like a little dude with a with a mini drum set with a, like a little bass and a snare thing. He mm-hmm. would kick drums or whatever. And then he's playing guitar, but he was playing, you know, like, uh, it was weird. It wasn't reggae, but maybe like an Island vibe vocal of, I don't even know what Island vibe vocal is. It's he tough speaks, to he speaks with, or he sings with an accent like you would hear maybe in like, like reggae music. Okay. But he sings regular pop songs. Oh, with with that vibe, almost like a coffee house, with a sure. with a Jamaican accent. Sure, that's the only way I can describe. Or an island, or Caribbean, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's, I'm listening. And he's he's singing Coldplay, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I guess that. I mean, look, it sounded was, better in Coldplay. It it was a night. It was a cool version. It was a really chill. It was a jab. It was a Coldplay. Yeah. Oh, okay, I know. Yeah, I know you're your favorite. Oh, please. Uh, and uh, the, my only issue there is it was so, so loud. Like, they, they have a great sound system. They must, because I could barely hear. Like, I wasn't sitting as close to him as, as I'm closer than this mm-hmm. in a regular table, and I'm yelling yeah. to hear. And that was that was off-putting. I don't, I don't well, really like that. That's weird, because the parkway, I don't even know if the parkway by my house, if they if they even have live people there, like band stuff. It, it, it's it's an, oh, it's an old road. It's the old Roadrunner. Oh, I know. I've been there. Yeah. And then also like the average age in there, I think it's 22 years old in three months. So it's a really weird atmosphere when I go in there. Yeah. It's just people chugging beers to chug beers. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I liked it because we, we didn't drink the same beer twice. Mm-hmm. Um, did some, oh, yeah, they got all that bullshit and then make, you know, the taps and get your name on the wall. I took it and I, I don't want to get too deep in the brews because I know this isn't uh, just the brew. Right. But uh, I did. One of my favorite beers that night was... Uh, Hold on, let me let me pull it up here on my phone. All right, uh, Voodoo Ranger. It's uh, New Belgium. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's got the skeleton wearing the old uh, juicy juicy haze IPA. Yep, he's got the little leather. The leather. You you oh, you like that, huh? I did like yeah, that beer. It's crazy. It's not bad. Not too much. Not too much of the fruit. It's not bad. I've had yeah. it. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. pretty good. 
And then the next one Adam picked was, you know, like fruity as shit. Tasted like summer shit. Oh, you got with Adam? Yeah. yeah. He's, but he's like super into the he's, ales yeah. and stuff. He starts talking beer sometimes. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay. I don't, yeah, this subject is beyond me now. Yeah. No, that's good. He's, he's pretty deep in this stuff. But uh, no, we have fun. Probably had too many beers, but, you know, you get home around 12 o'clock. I had to get up and we were driving to Arizona for a practice round. Yeah. For, that's uh, right. For, for golf. Nolan. Yeah. And uh, that f- 4.30 came really fast when oh, we got home, me. and I fell asleep around 1. Can't, then, I can't do that anymore. And I wasn't driving. My my buddies was driving him because his kid and Nolan play golf together. Every, anyway, trying to stay awake for a four-and-a-half-hour drive when you've had three hours of sleep, and you're dead. You guys did that drive in four-and-a-half? Uh, I think it was to, down to Mesa. I think I was thought it was closer to, closer to five because it's on the opposite side of Phoenix. I wasn't paying attention to. Uh, <laughs> was Fair it, enough. It until matter. the sun came up, I was I was fading in and out of consciousness. It was uh, it was it was very hard to do, but uh, no, it was fun. Understood. But yeah, I gotta gotta make sure I do those nights when I have nothing going on the next uh, day. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, a lot of fun though. That's a, a great place down there. I didn't do shit. I had nothing to talk about. My oh, I'm week. shocked. All I did, all I did this week was sit at a at a desk and work, and um, I cleaned up my diet. Mm. Message in the, in Slack. You know, I lost six pounds in a week. Wow, me too. Yeah, it was awesome. Hashtag me too. Um, <laughs> uh, that's about it, though, man. You know, the gym, eating right. God, it's boring. I don't have shit to say, guys. All right, that's it I, for this week. Um. I, I actually have a great one. Given we come in here every week and we talk about coffee. We do. Uh, I think it was right It was right around November or October. We got our first espresso machine at the house. Yes. I'm, I'm not. Tell I'm me not, about that. Right. I'm not. Damn, you didn't even pull no espresso when I came over to the house. We didn't. That's bullshit. And uh, it's it's not. Look, it's, I think it's like a $30 machine. Mm-hmm. It's got the little arm for the steamer. It does a little like dual drip down mm-hmm. thing for whatever 30 so, bucks for that it was really inexpensive i think That's we got a shock a, yeah it wasn't bad at all so fast forward talked about i think on episode 30 or 31 mm-hmm. weiss been doing this thing where we brew coffee in the regular uh brew machine mm-hmm. and then pours a little bit of coffee in there mm-hmm. and then does this thing she froths the, Oat the milk. oatly milk all right and then pours it pours the milk into the coffee and puts the froth on top and then puts like cinnamon and and honey and stuff on top of that. Gotcha. And then that's how she's been drinking her coffee. Yep. Two days ago, it was a Friday morning. Um, she goes, we need to get a new uh, espresso machine. I said, what? She goes, it's broken, like burned up. And I'm like, well, what happened? She goes, I don't know, but I ordered the, the, a milk frother on Amazon. So it'll be here. We don't even have to get another one. And I'm like, well, what happened? And I'm, I'm going over there. And it's the machine is hot. Like really it's hot. Still hot. Yes. Post. Okay. And I mean, I she got up an hour before me. Oh boy. And the uh, house didn't burn down. Sound like <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm laughing so hard. She goes, yeah, like nothing would come out, and it just like got hot. And I said, did you put water in the reservoir? It's because it frosts the milk via steam. Right. She goes, no. Why would I do that? Uh... No. No. Complete. We talk about coffee every I week hope, in I here. I hope she doesn't listen to this episode. Oh, gonna, I hope I'm going to be in trouble. Because I clown. Damn, I'm cl- going to be in trouble. Let me tell you. <laughs> like, she know we've we've made espresso. We've, we've so the coil is basically overheated, overheated, fried the circuits. Fried it up. Yeah. Made sure we unplugged it. It's in the dumpster. I, I was laughing my ass off. I was like, you, how do you think that the milk gets hot? Like, what's the what's the Yeah, it's, process? it's not hot air. Right. I said right. it's steam. Yeah, it's, I can it's see heating that. up the water. Dog, it was so funny. It was so funny. So the frother Poor she Kirsty. bought is this looks you know like an emulsion machine, but it's got I've this little that. wire like on the list. bottom. That's not gonna work. It's not gonna work the way she wants it to. No, she did it though. She yeah. said, "Oh, it worked. It worked." It, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, laughing. It worked. But then, but then I got, "Hey, we need to look at espresso machines." Mm-hmm. I was like, "Well, I'll tell you right now." That's, you know, but that brings up a great question: Do they make standalone steam frothers? I don't know. We'd have to look. You know, milk steamers. I've never looked for that because they're always attached to just the right. espresso machine. Right. That might be worth it, actually, just to get that if you're not really pouring, you know, doing good, like real espresso I pulls just, off of it. I was, uh, it was one of the funniest yeah, shits. It's pretty uh, good. It's good shit. I had to, I had to wait. There, we talked about it on the phone. I said, look, I can't tell you what yeah. happened. I can't tell you what happened. save this for the drip. 
But I, we got to talk about it on the episode because the wife of someone who talks about coffee every week and, you know, I mean, we don't. You done fucked it up, Kirsty. Right. I mean, you done Killed messed it. it. You done messed it yeah, up. Yeah, way to go. That wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. So I thought that was, I had to talk about it on here because, uh, you know, I'm sure of the 9 million listeners we have right now, there's a few wives out there that have done the same thing. Absolutely. Probably is. Yeah. Oh. Out of 9 million, please. A yeah. few thousand. Yeah. Except for those that have the magic frothers. Where you just don't need water or anything, and you just put it, the little thing in there. I'm not participating. And, and I'm not participating in wife bashing right now. <laughs> You're not getting me. Oh, this man. goes back a couple episodes ago. You know, you want it to be 1960s. You want man's Dog. rights. Dog if it's. I'm a little, little confused, George. I, I don't know. Look, I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did. It must have been just trying to pull moisture out of the air <laughs> for the last two weeks. And finally it said, look, I got no water left. We're, I'm, we're, we're yes. done. You're waking up. Burning like, ah, it up. Throat's dry. You know how burning. You know how Frozone can't produce yeah. ice because he's just getting. Yeah, you just watched that the other night. I love that movie. A sip of water. I love that movie. Uh, I did. We re up the coffee at home, and I will not say where, but I wanted to anonymously mm. talk about this. And it's not oh, no, bashing. He's, he's going to be listening to the show. You think so? <laughs> no, I hope he is because <laughs> I posted. I posted a picture after I got it. Oh, good. A place that you go to to get coffee and I buy probably f- three to four bags every time I go there. Right. And uh, that's that's our home brew coffee that we love to drink. It tastes delicious. Right. And there's a specific version of the coffee, it is Ethiopian, that you normally get a 12 ounce bag for $14, $15. They had a five ounce bag for $15. No. Of the same coffee. No. And I was, I was like, Man, that's not even the worst part about that. It wasn't even like fifty percent of the of the amount no. you're used to. No, I, I th- that bag I think is only good for like a single pour over. Is that is that true? I mean, when I no, you would get you would get more would out get of that, few? but the you'd be done in two days. Like, okay. it wouldn't last you for a week like it should, yeah. like for five six days. So it's two pour overs. Yeah, two and a half. That'd ounces. be about it for reals. Yeah, I mean, it's not. I'm telling you, I've lifted the bag up and I'm looking at it. And I'm like this, bit. but There's what about the kicker though? When you go on their website, oh, and you can get a sixteen or a, a twelve, a 12 ounce, ounce bag, bag for fifteen dollars. For fifteen dollars, so you can still get it. So I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go online and buy it. Yeah, I don't. That's the dumbest thing in the world. House, I, I don't know. And and I knew I've been in this p- specific store a lot. If you listen to the episode, you already know what store I'm talking about. It's probably pretty easy to get. Yeah, it's not like we have stuff. eighty stores. But 80 I don't want to. I don't want to trash it. But at the same time, is are they are they trying to capitalize on? on people that maybe don't go to that store all the time and then they're like, oh, why is this bag so expensive? And then you get to say, oh, well, it's well, My very question rare. is, is it a Gesha? No. No, it's not. It's my, that's what I'm saying. For the same region, but not, it wasn't And it's the Gesha. same bag of coffee. I told you I was just in there, what, three weeks or a month ago and I bought that bag. I'm it was the 12-ounce bag for $15. It's and then a crazy. sudden change to do a five-ounce bag of that same for $15? Yeah. That's crazy. That was, it was nuts. So I, I I really didn't understand it. I was trying to figure it out, but whatever. That's yeah, frustrating. And I did you know what? And they were they were actually pouring it on their their drip. So when you buy when you buy a bag of coffee, you get a free drip. Whatever you don't get a right. latte, you just get whatever coffee they're right. brewing that day. But you and, know that same place I talked about a few episodes ago. Yeah, I went in and the guy went ahead. I got two. I was like, oh, I don't want the free coffee. I just give me two lattes. Right. And he went ahead and he's like, Well, I'll just take one of them off. You know, as the to count towards the free coffee that you right. get. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that was crazy. But what ifs? Whatever, man. They're, they're going to find done. Out. You know, I'm done with coffee. <laughs> <laughs> we move it to beer? How are we going to be fucked up on these episodes? I'll talk to you about that later, by the way. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, shh. We're going to beat that out. Yeah. Got something in the works with somebody. Oh, really? Yeah. I, uh, I'll i talk about it when the brewery's open, but I'm actually a founding member of uh, oh. Brewers. I get a, what? I get a, I get a custom. Baller I get a, alert. Yeah, no big deal. I get a custom mug. That's why you wore the chains? What's that? Yeah. Please. Coming up. Told you I got the bag. Shit, dog. Your, your hoodie's turning green. Be careful. Right. No, what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, that don't happen with this reel. Your hoodie's turning green. I That's terrible. It. All right. Um, big uh, big night last night. Neither one of us watched the UFC, but but we did talk about how uh, McGregor not. was pitched this very soft softball against Cowboy and then routed him in 40 seconds. I mean... The internet is a buzz about watch out for the right shoulder or the left shoulder. Yeah, it, gotta I, admit, I mean it's fighting. There's I mean, 
you can use your elbows, you can use your knees. Why not your shoulders? Have you ever heard of anybody getting their nose broken by a shoulder, though? No, but I'm sure it's happened quite a bit, though. Yeah. To be that honest, was, I, that was that was impressive. Like he was pulling it. He goes, it, "Look, the whole thing looked scripted. It looked like Cowboy didn't give a shit about fighting at all." But I don't think anybody wants to get their face bashed up like that and no. embarrassed. No, but how much you know? I, I really think this was. They called it a warm up fight for for McGregor's next fight. Who's he supposed to fight next? I think he's rematching with the with the dude that beat his absolute ass. Nurmagomedov. I think so. Oh hell no! That's a wrap. Didn't he have a different name? K- Khabib? I thought it was Khabib that beat his ass. That's what I'm talking about. Khabib Nurmagomedov. That's oh my his last God. name. Yeah. yeah, sorry. I, I can't He's from that. like, I don't know, one of those Akistans. In the yeah. Middle. Well, he got he right. got served from that dude. And I think that guy was in the audience. Uh, Nurmagomedov was? I think he was. I think he was. I, I showed know. some black dude in the audience like was yawning when Gregor was talking. Was it? But I don't, I don't pay attention to it. I don't know who these dudes are. I do love the audience pans, and here's why I love them. The... The defensive end from the Browns that punched old boy in the face. Uh, the quarterback hit him in the head with the with the helmet. Oh he in, yeah, 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 yeah. Got in a lot of trouble. Yeah, they pan the camera to him uh, for the fight, saying, "Oh, you know, we got, look at Tom Brady's here, and uh, you know this guy and this guy." Mm-hmm. And sitting right next to this defensive end that most people don't know who he is mm-hmm. is Baker Mayfield, the starting quarterback for the Browns, and never. Interesting. Didn't even reference him. Like, hey, there's Baker. Nope. Your defense. I like. I like Baker. I like Baker Mayfield in college. He he was kind of the. He was like this dickhead that you loved and you hated, but you loved him. Yeah. Because he's a hell of a player, but he's a cocky son of a bitch. Is he kind of like uh, Manziel? Yeah. Yeah. But he's good. That's the difference. He translated. He and I, I don't know how that works, but he watch more college football than I do. I just don't. I don't understand how you. Your is the defense in the pros that much better that. You yeah, can't I, I think I've said it on here before, but they tell you when you finish playing college ball, they tell you um, the game moves twice as fast. Well, really? Yeah. I mean, that's an exaggeration, but that's like like the scouts. Yeah. They're like, you know, not necessarily bigger. You, people matured around the age of 22, 23. Like, yeah. it's hard to get bigger in size, really. Um, and um, stronger, not really. It's about how fast the game moves. And also the difference with college is this, right? Let's say you're playing in a conference that um, isn't necessarily a very strong conference that year, and you, yeah. have a sh- you have a show-out season. You have an amazing season in a conference that's not really you know, an, an, a, a tough competitive conference that can help boost you up a little bit. And then you get to the pros, and it's only the best of the best are in the pros. Yeah. I mean, you know what happens, too? I mean, I remember um, – you know, playing baseball in high school, and you play the crappy schools like right. like Clark. I had some of my oh, best damn, games. Shots fired. Yeah, I had some of my best games against Clark. They did not have a great team. Right. It wasn't like I was jumping for joy that I had like right. But you look like the man when you come out. But that I, shit. yeah, I look like the absolute man. The exactly. next day in the paper, when they talk about teams, and you know, there's like, oh, so and so, you know, twelve strikeouts or something. Yeah, right. You're, it's almost like <clears throat> pitching against you know a little league team or something. Like that. And a lot of times, it's also about and baseball. Obviously, is totally different. Um, but a lot of times it's about putting a player where they're going to succeed. Yeah. A lot of times players have skill sets that, that might not translate to that next level. Yeah. And sometimes if you can shift them, it makes a huge difference. Yeah. And whether the next level is from high school to college or college to pro. Yeah. No, that's good. But I tell you what, once we got to college, I, the the hitters are better. The Like it, you take just what you said. You take the best hitters from the regions where they're scouting from, mm-hmm. you know, and those kids that you have to fill a roster with in high school, they're not there in college. So they handpicked the guys. And right. I remember, and not to get too deep into baseball, but we had a meeting right before the season started, and uh, I wasn't a hitter. I was a pitcher, so it, it, my batting average didn't matter. But he was going around the room, hey, what'd you hit in high school your senior year? Oh, I, 425. I mean, numbers that are astronomical. Right. You know, oh, I bet at 530, you know, all shit. Against, again, against teams that probably couldn't field an entire team, so they got to fill a team. Maybe not as good districts or whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah, you need warm bodies. So he's writing all these numbers down, and he says, just so you know, you need to set the expectation. None of you are going to hit. Most of you won't hit over 300 this I love year. it. I love it. And, the guy, and you know, cocky, you got cocky freshmen coming in. We're like, hey, nobody can, nobody can get that ball past me. I got, the, I got the fastest hands and all this stuff. Guaranteed. He put a slash through everybody's, you know, 400 batting averages. I love it. He goes, boom, you're going to bat. 
you know, 240. You're in about 250. I was like, and sure enough, he was dead on. Damn. He was, he's dead on. He's like, you, the, just like you said, same thing in football. You know, you got a, you got a running back that instead of running maybe a four or five in high school, mm-hmm. I mean, that dude's running four threes and he's hitting gaps and hitting the edge faster than kids they've ever seen before. And then you got big ass dudes that just are grown men. Yeah. So it's, men it's different. Boys. You know, I remember one time when, when I first got to Utah state, um, and I got there in spring. I was an early because I finished junior college in a year and a half. Yeah, got my associate's degree, whatever, and then um, I ended up getting getting a scholarship. And I got there and I did spring ball, um, which is always advantageous as a JUCO transfer if you can get in and do spring ball, kind of mm-hmm. solidify a spot before all the freshmen come in or other transfers come in. So, you know, I do spring ball, and then you know, end of summer or middle of summer, all the freshmen come in. And freshmen are in the locker room, you know, and da, 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 they're arguing. And oh, I, and I was in, you know, I ran this much. I had this many sacks, this many tackles. And oh, I was, man, you ain't shit. I just Even though remember, you're a year older. I just remember one dude. No, I can't I forget who it was. One dude goes, man, why don't y'all shut the fuck up? No matter what y'all think you did in high school, we're all playing at Utah State now. It don't mean shit. Yeah. Not Division One. That's a, that's a that's, big school. one, right? Well, I mean, we were probably ranked like 103rd. Yeah, but you're still not. You're but not playing. It was a D1 school. Yeah. And it's true because out of how many freshmen come in, only so many are going to start. Yeah. And even over a period of four years, only so many are going to start. Yep. There's people that are going to ride the bench. There's Oof. people that will get hurt. There's people that are going to get shut down and not be able to play that position they played so well in, in, in high school. It's just, yeah, it's the nature of the beast. Whatever. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of variables involved. I don't even know how we got the football. We we're talking about UFC. We we're talking about UFC. We're talking about UFC. And how, you know, you play better players. Better you know, and I want to bring up the thing about UFC. You know, we we're weird messaging back and forth right and so people were upset about bang for the buck yeah oh the pricing the pricing was i mean this is ludicrous it is it was ludicrous shout out i I agree the pricing was a bit ridiculous um i told i i wouldn't pay that much for any fight to be honest with you no i'll show up to the homie's house and you know drop 10 on it um but well in leading up to this if if you've never watched a ufc in the last six months for the the weaker cards, which is the majority of UFCs these days, right? Um, they did a deal with ESPN, so now you can <clears throat> you can uh, watch UFC through ESPN Plus, right? On your Apple TVs, your Brokus, your all that stuff, no, whatever the fuck it is. So, um, back in, I mean, the last one I got, all I had to do was pay for ESPN Plus, and I got to watch UFC like two forty one or something, right? And it was a, I think it was a decent card. It was some decent fights on there, but for four ninety nine or five ninety nine, I got to watch what used to be a fifty dollar pay per view. Yeah, and that's worth it, right? That's worth it, right? Hell, honestly, I'll be even ten, fifteen bucks. I think would be worth I it. I would have done that. Yeah, I would actually turned it on into the mi- in the middle of the fights to watch, the, and I wouldn't feel as bad if I lost fifteen bucks and saw forty seconds of a greater fight. But you said it was one twenty five without a subscription, without ESPN Plus, and sixty five with ESPN Plus. Yes, sir. That's not happening. That's, I'll watch it. I'll watch it on Twitter when we repost. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty crazy. It, that's it just, that's it's just, ridiculous. It's pretty crazy. The pricing is out of control, and you know, I at the same time, you know, I don't. I don't believe when people say bang for the buck. I know we are going back and forth, and I just want to bring this up because I want to make a valid point, and and your point is valid as well. Um, some people want to feel like they got their money's worth. Yeah, they want it to be quote a good fight. Um, I'm a totally different type of person. I'm the person that yeah. I want to see somebody get their ass beat. Yeah, and if it happens in the first round, if it happens in the first twenty seconds, I don't care. If it happens in the fifth round, whatever, so it may be. Um, but even with football, I'm the same way. Like I don't like close games. I want, no, I want somebody to get there. As I want to see talent. <laughs> I, I want to see talent. Um, I thought the national championship game, not to go, that's but fine. That game was amazing. It was unbelievable. Yeah, it was great. The first half, of course, actually was a close game. Yeah. But I was, as I was, I forget who I was messaging, I said, watch out. LSU is, LSU is a team that can make, yeah. they made, they already made adjustments halfway through the second quarter. I said, watch out. They're a team that can make adjustments for yeah. the second half and come blow it open. And they sure the hell did. That was great. And Joe Burrow, God, he's just, He's an amazing quarterback. I think he's an amazing running quarterback because he's an A to B runner. Yeah. He doesn't have the jukes and all the spinning. Ahead. He just he has his eyes on the prize. He knows where that first down marker yeah. is, and it's a straight B line for that yeah, shit. That's great. He's up. And I don't watch and I don't watch college football. And I enjoyed the game. It I was have, a great game. I have it nothing really was. invested. 
you know that guy's name. I just said the quarter. I say the quarterback from LSU looks like a great right. quarterback. But well, the crazy thing is, Clemson is a fucking good ass team too. That dude that that really spoke. Uh, Trevor uh, Lawrence, the that quarterback, dude hadn't for, lost a game in like he twenty five. Hadn't games. lost a game since he started. Since he came and started playing since there, then. hadn't lost a game. That's a humbling. Is he in the draft? Is he old enough to go? I don't think he's old enough to go. I think he has to stay another year. How long you got? Oh, if you go to university, how long you got to stay at the university? Um, the rules are you have to be three years. It has to be three years after you graduated high school. Really? Yes. And so he's only been there. He like two. Yeah, something like that. Twenty five. He started. He started, he, started games. As, he started as a true freshman. Oh wow. So he's got yeah. He's, well, twenty five games. Yeah, that makes sense. So fourteen games a yeah, season because they have ex- these some a lot of these bigger teams have extended seasons, right? It's not just a little ten game block anymore. Okay. It's a twelve or thirteen game season, and then you have a playoff game or a, you know if you go to so they won it last year, so that yeah that puts them at like what eleven games, and then they went to the playoff, and then they went to the championship. They have that rule to keep college football a healthy environment, right? Healthy in the sense that people want to see it because if you get a one and done quarterback, well, it's it's also there to protect the the players because then you're going to in some cases you'll have 18 year olds going into the league oh. and they're not fully developed and they yeah. get fucked up. They are, yeah. <laughs> and, but you're right though. It's also there's I think I think I think you're probably right in saying what you're saying. I don't know if it's so much to keep college football. Yeah, it's to keep it profitable for the NCAA. Sure. That sounds fair. Right. I mean, could you imagine? They, 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 you get a guy. Oh my God! This dude's the he's the fucking man. Boom, boom, boom! Win championships and he's gone. Yeah. Now the NCAA is like, damn, we didn't get to sell enough of his merchandise while he was here. <laughs> they make money off the players. <laughs> true. Don't let the players make that money. That is true. We want all that. Money. That is absolutely true. Anyways, it's good stuff. So um, uh, yeah, enough gushing about sports. Yeah, but it's good. It's, it's a lot of stuff going I, on I today. Do, I do wish I would have watched the fight, and I actually really do enjoy a lot of the undercard fights. Yeah. Um. I just couldn't get. I told. I just couldn't get. Be bothered to get up off the couch. Uh, I got a text message, uh, right right when the main event was going on, and my sister uh, texted me because she's watching it with her boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Which look, I love getting these texts because I'm trying to think back. I don't think she ever played sports. She, I mean, she played softball a little bit, but yeah. I, I didn't see the games because there's an age difference here and right. and all that when she was in, when high school. So I didn't get to see all those. She swam. Okay. I knew she was a swimmer. Um, but she's texting me and she's like, oh, it's undercard suck. Every uh, every single one of these has been a, a submission in like the first round or something. Mm-hmm. She said they were super quick over with. So I was like, oh, look at you watching sports. I didn't. I her boyfriend is a very big sports. Fan. Right. Well, he works. He works. Yeah, in the right. Like, you know, sports. Are, he was at the national championship game. Nice. You know, he's posted. I'm looking at him like. Yeah, Dude, a lot of those people get to go. You're on the 50 yeah. yard line at the like the biggest college game Ain't of the year. Mad. Ain't even mad. I would so, love to go to something like that. Yeah, I just don't feel like shelling out the five thousand dollars to do it. Uh, yeah, no, I, I don't want to do that either. Right. <laughs> don't feel like shit. I don't have five thousand dollars to right. shell out to do it. Yeah. What am I saying? I don't feel like I'm yeah. acting like it's an option. No, it is. You know, well, I mean, you probably, of course, season ticket holder. <laughs> um, this I, I put a couple more things to talk about, but I really don't give a shit about the royal family, so. Okay, cool. I, I was tr- I was gonna try and see if you could explain to me I how it works. I can't. Okay, but good. the bottom line is is this: the what am I trying to say? The people, yeah, of England, they they do support, and I don't know why. It's old shit. Okay, why do we have a president? Um, I, I've the commander. older I the older I get, the more I'm trying to figure out why do we have a president? Somebody, somebody to represent um the the country. Globally, because then, we uh, need them to represent us, because other countries have somebody to represent so. us. I think that's it's it. it's an outdated model. We don't need a president. Yeah. Right. We don't. Well, because how many decisions does the president make on their own? Uh, None. Okay, cool. Well, Next question. Which one? <laughs> well, Twitter decisions are different. <laughs> Twitter fingers. <laughs> turn, 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 turn the trigger fingers. All right. Uh, no, that was. I just I didn't understand the concept because I know. I know England has parliament mm-hmm. and they make rules and, and, you know, kind of like our Congress does, and <clears throat> you know, whatever sides, right. sides talk about issues in the community and the country. So like the queen does do, does parliament run shit by the queen and be like, Hey, look, we're thinking about know, doing I this. I wish I could say I'm and not educated queen, on how their system works. Right. Exactly. No, it makes no sense. So there's a big thing in the news right now with uh, the kids of Diana. One of them 
got married to an American girl. You're talking about Meghan Markle? Yeah. And then now they're like, yo, we don't want to be, we don't want to be royal anymore. Rightfully so. And because of the fucking racial bullshit over there. Oh, that's why? That's exactly what's oh, going I didn't on. Know that. Straight from the Brit's mouth, he was telling me that like, he's like, they were talking, some people were showing, you know, I was looking at reports on Twitter and they're like, this is bullshit. It's not because of what people are saying about Megan and da 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 da. And said, nah, at home, they're saying that's exactly what people are saying. Really? It's all about her being black and being American. That's, is her, is her mom black? I seen her I dad. Don't remember her dad don't look black at all. Okay, then maybe it's her mom. Okay. I couldn't remember who, which one it was. I, I Here's the no bottom idea. line is what's the, what does it fucking matter, right? It we does. got people so hung up that in another country, they're like, oh my God. Here's the stat. Here's the stat that kind of blew my mind is so now that they're now that they're out, now that they say they don't want to be part of it, mm -hmm. um, they're talking about their house wherever they live. Mm -hmm. And they have to pay back by I guess order of the queen, three point two million US dollars. It's like two point three euro. Okay. Million euro. To, they renovated their house, like whatever wherever they live right. in England, they renovated mm -hmm. their house, but they used this fund to mm -hmm. renovate their house, and it's like ta like English tax dollars. And I'm trying to figure out like here's the thing. What? So here's the thing. So if if anybody wants to make a big deal out of that, that was just three point two million. Right. What? How has that tax? How have those tax dollars been used over the last however oh, many decades or centuries? To, but by the royal family to do whatever the fuck they want. Isn't that crazy? But see, that's the thing, though. That's why I talk about why do we need a president? It's the same thing. Yeah, we have it's it just it all stems from this totalitarian or dictator or monarchist type of, of of concept that we ultimately everybody needs somebody to look to. But it's but the difference, the only difference I could think of here is the president is elected by the people and the electoral right. college. So right. I don't want to get into politics too saying. deep, I but at least there's a process to put that person mm -hmm. in power. But once that person's in power, what happens? They become heralded, right? Right. Every ounce of everything goes into protecting that person, sure. right? We sure. can't show weakness. We can't no. look vulnerable. Um, we have to, as you know, well, we're the biggest boys on the block, so we got to show ourselves yeah. as such. This is why a woman ain't going to get elected, right? We got to have this machismo and we got to have this oh, bravado. Come on, Bernie. <laughs> here's, here's, put Sarah Palin on ticket. But this is, oh, she already had it. She lost. Um, but here's, here's my, the biggest point of this is that, you, you got in America, you're elected, people choose, like you go through this whole process mm -hmm. to actually get there. Yeah. This family is there because they're dialed in. Yeah. Don't like matter. Whatever, whatever happened down the line, mm -hmm. like their lineage all the way through. I mean, you hit the, I don't know, black or better term, genealogical lottery. That's exactly what it is. And you just happen to be born into this family that gets free money from taxes. To, I thought that was incredible. To do what? To look. I don't know. It's the same thing. Like, do they, d does, does one of the kids, you know, say, hey, all right, military, uh, we need you to send troops. Like, I, I have no idea how that works. No, nobody do that. Nobody yeah. do that shit. Okay. I just, I, nobody, I've never really sat it's, down it's and all, figured out I think it's why. just all PR for them. It's got to be. It's to keep this image. And, and look, I'm not saying there's, I'm not saying it's the wrong thing to do. Yeah. I just personally feel like it's a worthless thing to do. I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there. Go ahead. Uh, these two. Is it is Harry? I think it's Harry. Is it Harry? Yeah, Harry I hate and that Megan? name, but yeah. I would uh I would like you to email us at royal at justadrift.com. You know what? I'm gonna go a step further. Oh shit. Well, I'd like to invite them to be on no, the podcast. That's what I was saying. Oh, okay, my bad. I need one my of bad. them Sorry. to email the show. <clears throat> hey, we want to have you on. I mean, we got we got an extra mic. Just saying. Well, you said last episode. Joe Rogan, don't to... don't steal our guests. Oh, you, you know what? I know. He's now like, you just he's... put it out there. Now well, he was he's already doing it. Oh, is he? Yo, well, you know he is. You know they've already reached out. Because yeah. they're moving to the U.S. part time, yeah, and they're supposed to be on some sh TV show while they're over here, oh. paying back the three point two million ain't gonna be shit out their yeah. pockets, man. You know Joe Rogan gonna get his latches on there and man. get the interview. Stop stealing all our guests, Joe. Man, we even have a mug. I have a mug left over from what Todd sent of Megan and Harry. Todd sent it to Anthony. No, he didn't. <laughs> yes, you That's never awesome. saw the mug. Uh, I think it did in the old office. Yeah. So anyway, in the old studio. But whatever. <clears throat> uh. And then the last one. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> this is such bullshit. Why, why is this not a day off for, you get to pick and choose. Companies get to pick and choose. Now, I'm off tomorrow because, you know, it, we're sensitive. Because Megan the Stallion. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> my wife is not. <laughs> He's pissed. She's like, how do you, why do you get the day off and, I, and we don't? I said, I don't know. Talk to tell you. Her, tell her to recite uh, MLK's legacy. 
Um, and his speech. I, yeah, I can't do it. No, me neither. But I'm just saying, tell her that. And then she'll I will. Lay off. I will. I'm happy um, I mean, I'm self-employed. Yeah, I, I see, could give cool. myself the day off, but the issue with this is Who's how doing? many people that I that are my clients are taking the day off. Probably. It'll, it's usually it, actually it's funny. It tends to be on days like this that are optional days off. Yeah, it tends to be a fifty fifty split. So yeah. my email will be about be blowing you half up. the volume. Hey, where is this at? We got, exactly how, I don't say done yet. Not yeah. being my draw asleep. <laughs> what a sight! What a sight! <laughs> Boom! We're getting into uh, to some coffee. And we we actually went back to back with the with the Nragua this week. <laughs> it's our second. It's our it's our back to back of a uh, Nicaraguan coffee. Yeah. Um, this one comes courtesy of uh, the Woo. It's our landlord. It's it is our landlord. It is it's our the landlord. trap house landlord. That's right. Oh, Natural shout person's out. trap house ain't nothing but a Woo thing. Uh, <laughs> wooed up so. Wu had had given the show uh, this bag of coffee for Christmas, and I'm like, I'm not gonna take it home. You really gave that to us for Christmas? He did. He did. He said, "I got this." We bag. didn't even get our landlord a gift. No, we didn't. We're pretty shitty. All right, yeah, we're pretty shitty. <laughs> Probably should have done that. I did get him. I did get him a shirt for his birthday last year. You did? Yeah. He. Uh, we'll have him on the show. He said. He, he said he would come on the show. show. Yeah. He great. would come on the show. Very right cool guy. Show. Yeah. Um. If but, he doesn't have, he's not employed. <laughs> no, <laughs> per se, he doesn't. He has nothing to lose. No, per se, I guess. but but I had to. If you if you know him, you know that in the right right when the when the summer or not when the summer when the temperature gets like seventy five plus, uh-huh. he wears nothing but tank Hold tops. Hold on, I like how you said if you know him. If you, you get, I think only three people know him. I swear to God. Yeah. No, he's not. I mean, great he's, guy. He's I, I don't know dude. him. Know him? I just met him once. But I'm just saying, funny. nobody knows Wu. When when I got to meet him and then just kind of seeing him here and there, uh-huh. I'm like, dude's always got a tank top on. Yeah, like I like look. I ain't some people him. flex for the gram. He just flexes for the honeys. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's it, it's it's impressive. But I got him. Uh, uh, what's the wrestler's name? Nick Ric Flair. Uh, yeah, I was, I was like, like, damn, the says, fifty wrestlers went through my the head. One, right the there one that there. does. Yeah. Woo-hoo. So yeah, I found uh, Instagram. I'm the best thing going. Yeah, so I got him for his birthday last year. I got to find something. Cool That's dope. Shit. But yeah, I can't believe Greg, you didn't you didn't get anything for uh, for the woo for Christmas. It's pretty well, I did. It's actually it's it's on its way. Oh, you got it from uh, Australia. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, Indonesia by way of Australia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Indonesia's in the news today. We'll have to talk about that. Oh, damn. Uh, this coffee is from Atlas Coffee Club. It is their. Tell Nic- me about Atlas Coffee Club. What is that? Um, Atlas Coffee Club has coffees from a bunch of different regions. Like, is a subscription service, or can you just it get is. on? Okay. No, it's it's a club. They'll send you coffees, you know, once a month or quarterly or however you set it up. All right. If but, somebody's uh, getting coffee quarterly, you're wasting my time. Yeah, that's. Well, I mean, it's not it's not like wine. Like you don't like people drink coffee every day. That's what I'm saying. I can't I can't wait, you know, have one bag of coffee every three months. It doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make but, sense. But uh, they've got a lot of regional coffee. We started following uh, following them on Instagram. I didn't know so that. So that we could tag them. Uh, and that, you know, worked out well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we talked about uh, Elemental. As soon as we did that, boy, they... they uh, Hey, blew us up and did all the good stuff. So I'm hoping a hey, real recognized real. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. No. Come on. That's a given. You know what I'm saying? Grand um, opening, grand closing. But no, they what they do is they they link up with coffees from around the world. So their their coffees. It's not like uh, it's not like their coffees have a naming convention. Um, like it's not. Hey, this is Ethiopian Guji, or this is. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying. The name is stuck in my head for other reasons. Uh, don't worry about it but you know what i mean when you look at their coffees it's okay this is the kenya this is brazil this is ethiopia this is nicaragua that's right. the bag we got and uh you know it goes into the details of this their is taste sparta notes. yeah this is sparta okay. yeah. i don't think they have one from sparta but well it'd probably be the best um, coffee of course of course um i probably should have looked since we talked about doing uh seeing if it was free trade coffee and i did not look yeah i doubt it because i think usually when it's free when it's free trade and fair trade and all that they let you know right up front i don't think you have to dig for it yeah it's not on the it's not yeah. on the, the bag there 
We could assume it's not. Um, their, their mission, our mission is to share the world of coffee. Satisfy your wanderlust with your coffee addiction. and Wonder satisf- or wander? Uh, it, oh, it is, is it wanderlust? Yeah. Oh, whatever. Okay, just it's my it. dialect. It's my dialect. <laughs> um, <laughs> satisfy your wanderlust with your coffee mm. addiction and satisfy your coffee addiction with your wanderlust. Wow, that was, that was different. Uh, come explore the world one cup at a time. Oh, that's cute. Uh, yeah, they're a little kitschy on that. Yeah, I, I just, have to just reading that. Comments. I was like, God, am I reading that wrong? I'm like repeating myself, but no, it's the same thing. Um, they pick they pick coffee from all around the world, and it it's it's vague. You know, they're just naming the region. Mm-hmm. Um, but this coffee this coffee here again is the Nicaragua. It comes from San Rafael del Norte. Uh, that's near uh, Compton, Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Who was the who was the leader that was there? Noriega. Yeah, yeah. And his wife Manuel. had like the world's largest shoe collection or some shit. No, that's Juan de Marco. I don't think that's uh, that's not the same guy. Pretty sure it's not the same guy. Pissed off right now. You better look that up. I'm not looking up shit. I'm pretty sure that's was it. The best thing about a podcast is I can say all the wrong okay. sh- all the wrong shit and just move on to next week. Yeah, and then the Pearl will email. Uh, us at you got that wrong. I'm deleting his emails. I have, <laughs> I have him blocked. He's an asshole. Uh, we uh, tasting notes on this coffee today. Okay, tell me, hit me. Almonds, <laughs> almonds, pecan pie. Pe- do you say pecan or pecan? I say pecan. Pecan. Okay, sorry, pecan pie. Yeah, so whatever. And uh, and that honey. Do you uh you hit you getting these notes? So here's something interesting about it. Oh shit. I can see how it has a baked goods appeal to it. Only after the notes, then I can start to maybe think about think about that. But it doesn't seem specific to a um, pecan pie, and I'm not. I'm just not tasting almonds. Um, I, I think almonds might fall into the same category as chocolate because if it's a bitter coffee, if you eat a raw almond, which you know I was flexing on the show a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I do have an almond tree in an my almond. backyard. Almond. So. Uh, when you eat a, a raw, I mean, I'm talking raw, you bust it open and eat right. the almond. Yeah, it's, it's bitter. Right. So I think it fits. If, if you know you have a bitter coffee, it almost, it makes sense. Like, oh yeah, almonds, check it off. I'm questioning if this coffee's bitter. I think I botched the process again. I told you it's, our grinder is just really just fucking things off in terms so of, got, in terms of the process. I got two time. things to get today. So Let's we do, we got to get a grinder. Um, But there's a sweetness that's here. There is. But I'm not identifying it specifically. Yeah attributed to honey it's just there's just a generic yeah. sweetness going on <clears throat> and i know i say this a lot but i and then again just a coffee enthusiast not a pro yeah. nobody hold me to this i think this is the type of coffee that would be best enjoyed in terms of the notes coming out with a sugar and a milk or oh, like added to it yes i think this is something that's a bit bolder it's quote full-bodied it has, you know, it's very flavorful. What that mouthfeel is, George. Um, it's full bodied, and I think that um, I think that those notes will probably be, will probably for the average person like me, they're going to shine more with some with something to buffer out a little bit of the acidity. Yeah, and 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 to kind of accentuate the sweetness. I think that's what would happen. So it again, we we, <clears throat> you know, you take that first sip, and it does recommend that they use a Chemex. So they recommend a pour over for this coffee. First of all, don't tell me to use a Chemex. Don't. Drop brand names. I know. I saw that. Sh- yeah. I see that little card. Hold that shit up to the camera. Let them know. See that? Yeah. See that? Oh, uh, they're 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 pushing, they're pushing that Chemex weight uh, on their card, and I agree with you. They could have just said pour over. They probably they probably sell Chemexes on their site. They do. They have oh, to. Never mind. <laughs> That's why. Okay. They have to. I didn't. I didn't look, but I'm almost. You know, Chemex is so you know 1960s. You know, we stepped it up to the manual. They don't. Oh, they don't. They don't. Damn it! I tried to talk shit and got caught slipping. Do you, do you think maybe they got the maybe they got the little advertising bag by putting Chemex on there? Maybe they just or maybe they just totally prefer Chemex. Maybe that's just what it ah, is. it's possible. It's possible. Um, and the roasting level. This they consider this to be a medium roast, which I would I would I would go with that. This I is not a light that. roast. What's funny is that's it's interesting you bring that up because I didn't read that card prior to. Yeah. Um, the beans just visually appeared light roast. Mm-hmm. 
but definitely drinking the coffee. It, yeah. That's that full bodied. It's the much, much punchier. First sip, I thought this was a darker roast than what we normally get in. Absolutely. Here. Absolutely. It's just I, I just realized that how light the beans looked. Yeah. When I when I made the coffee compared to how it tastes now is a total difference. And what and what gets me is last week, last week was a Nicaraguan coffee. Yeah. But it was roasted in Japan. It did not have this this roasted and, and again, flavor. I, is, I would say that was lighter. These are the it was lighter. Yeah. Um I still have one serving of that left at home. I've been trying to stretch the budget on that shit. That's a good coffee, man. You're right, man. The more the more you taste it. I I, I agree with you though. Like I, see on my side, I do taste a little bit of the bitter, but it's not. Right. It doesn't ruin the. Cup no, it doesn't of ruin it at all. It's a it's a unique flavor. Yeah. This coffee, it's it's definitely a standout. It doesn't fall into that generic. Oh, it tastes like there's some cocoa in it. Hey, are they we're racing? Recording a podcast in here. Yeah, guys. come on, stop Calm racing down. up and down Please. these trap house streets. <laughs> uh, what what these? Because we've we've done now thirty two coffees. Well, have we done? Probably done more because we've we done did more the, because of them. The crappy coffee, yeah, the episode. crappy coffee contest. Um, I om- I feel like there's a bag of coffee tasting notes. There's there's like several bags, but then they're then they're associated with okay, this is the sweet bag, this is the acidic bag, this is the whatever chocolate bag, chocolate bag, whatever. And then they they're like, okay, how do we do it's, tasting it's, notes? This is the chocolate bag. Yeah, right. is it is this? Oh, is this bitter? Oh, well, you know what? You know what fruits and that fruits are kind of bitter. Let's That's pick a fruit. That's the thing is, you know, it obviously it goes the route. Uh, okay. So us not being yeah. professional co- coffee, doing, coffee liaise and doing cuppings and all that stuff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Ain't nobody cupping me. Is that what you told wifey? Hell yeah. You ain't cupping me, girl. Yeah, cup this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> done. But anyways. It just reminds me of like when you hear about wine, right? Yeah. Oh, persimmon. And see, I can't persimmon, do it. Persimmon, uh, parsley. Uh, yeah. Fish paste. I mean, I don't know. Here's like, what, what are we talking about sometimes? And, and to that point specifically, when you go to wine taste and they're like, yeah, this is, you know, these notes uh, harvested in, in late October. and you know, the tannins. Yeah. And, you know, the all this stuff. If it tastes good, I like it. It tastes good. And I want to get it. Um. If I don't like to taste, I don't care what region. Exactly. Whatever it's, I don't care if it's a nine thousand dollar bottle of wine. If it tastes like crap, <clears throat> don't matter. That's um, like so good. It's like being on here on the, on the podcast. A lot of times, you know, I bash Starbucks and all that shit. But fuck it, if somebody likes it and that's what they like, then I don't give a shit. That's on them. I don't give a damn. Of the people I know that go to Starbucks every day, mm-hmm. none of them order uh, drip roast coffee. coffee. No, you're always going to hear about uh, a Lattes. latte or the. F- or mm, ice, or ice, ice mocha, or ice coffees, coffee ice vanilla slurpee. lattes, all that. I, I coined a good phrase the other day: coffee slurpee. Co- Ooh, because just you see these people with these big iced. Oh, it's a t-shirt. It's a coffee slurpee. That's a t-shirt. Well, do I have to beep it out? I just said yeah, it twice. We want to, we have to beep it out. No, oh, that would be a dope yeah, t-shirt. Right. I right. can see, it. I can see the logo on my head. Mm. Um, that merch that we don't have <laughs> flying off the shelves. <laughs> you can, you can join. Uh, and keep in mind, again, we didn't buy this coffee, but someone bought this coffee. The Woo bought this coffee. We will give them a, a shout out. You can hit them up at uh, Atlas Coffee Club on social or atlascoffeeclub.com hmm. if you want to if you want to grab the bag. I like the design of the bag, and you'll see that if you go to it's just the drip dot com or uh, actually just drip dot com. It's both done. It? Just drip dot com. But yeah. on social, you can hit us up. It's just the drip. You'll see pictures of the bag. Yeah. Um, yeah, just the drip dot com or it's just the drip. But uh, social. I like the different colors of the bags. If you I, no, they have some nice designs on there. I thought and that I was like cool. the simplicity too. They oh. actually don't clutter the bag with all the information, which some people want to see. But they send you this card when you order it that has all the pertinent information you yeah. need, which has, that's actually a pretty nice touch. Yeah, I like I I do well, and that's what for what they lack on the bag because they're not putting. They're not putting regional information. They're not That's putting the specific names so, on this. Stuff. So, well, it is regional, but it's not like down to the district or right. the They're not valley. San Rafael del Norte. So, what they can do the is they could put out five more Nicaraguan coffees with the Nicaragua bag and just put a different informational card. They could. So, it saves a lot on printing. It does. But if you, um, and we'll we'll put a link in the show notes. I I'm digging these. These bag designs, these different patterns on the different areas: Costa Rica, Peru, Colombia, you know, Indonesia, Kenya. Uh, yeah, I'm big on. I'm big on the designs. It's super cool. I love it. Subscription. <clears throat> oh, that's wild. 
this this region oh no it is spelled differently the region for this is so god dang it why, why can't they need to S put sakakli yeah S -A -C -A -C i know but i don't know cli yeah yeah sakakli uh, we said it wrong for sure probably you have to cut um, you have to cut the sakakli it is <laughs> Beep. <laughs> uh it is the process for this is washed and mm. it is kind of like your career <laughs> kind of weird oh uh yeah. and these are grown at an altitude of 800 to 1200 meters wow that means nothing to me yeah i don't know if that's aren't we at that level 800 uh, meters these are meters yeah 24 i mean you just triple that shit down just to for generic it's not a yard exactly. Well, but. Vegas is 18, 1,800 feet. Oh, so we're not 800 meters then. No. We're 600 meters. Boom. About. Did you tell me I could grow some coffee out here? Go to Mount Charleston. There, that's got to be metered up. Man, get some land up there, start a coffee farm. Please. Shut down in November take, when it snows. Take over the business. Um, good stuff. I like this. Probably not a, you know what? I bet this would not be a bad club you know, if... Uh, I meant to say this, uh, Avery's Coffee Shop over on the west side closed. Yeah. Did I mention this the other day? Were they roasters? Did I mention this or no? You did. You know, you told me about it. But I didn't we say did, it on the show, we did talk I? about it on the show. Yeah, they roasted in there. Wow. Um, it just sucked, man. I got up one morning. I was like, ah, I need to, uh, we're out of coffee. I was like, I need to go get some coffee real quick. I was like, I'm just going to cut over to Avery's. It was over there on Sahara and Fort Apache by okay. the movie theaters. And I parked. And you know how when you park outside of a place and you look and you're like, damn, are they open yet or what? Like. It was 7.45. I'm like, are they open? And I'm looking from the parking lot. All the lights were off. So I got out of my car and I start walking across the, you know, a couple lanes in the parking lot. And I'm like, is there no furniture in that bitch? Got up to the door and they had a sign. It was like, no, thanks to all our customers for the past six years. Da, oh, da, da, da. Oh, they were open for six, six years. Six years. And saw Avery's is closed. Uh, it was, it kind of sunk me a little bit. Cause I think they were retired and they opened that shop. Yeah. And, um, bro, every time I went in there, there was it was people in there. So I don't know what happened, man. They must something. Maybe they just didn't want to do that shit no more. Who knows? But rest in peace, Avery's Coffee Shop. It was a good spot in Vegas. Yeah, that's too bad. It's going to be sad to see some generic shit open in there instead. Well, George. I uh, I like it. Yeah, you can get. I'm looking at the subscription model. Because, again, we didn't do this. The Wu got to Oh, you know, are you looking at the Alice shit? Um. But yeah, Atlas, you can get half bag, single bag, double bag. Um, you can get it every two weeks or every four weeks. And then, boy, you can pick your roasting preference. Light, medium, dark. Yeah. yeah. But they're not going to do that with every bean, right? Is the roasting preference just going to point you in the direction of the, what they do that way? They're, this is pretty wild. They're basing their roasting preference on tasting notes. Right. That's about right. Okay. Because you're going to have different notes. At different levels of roasting. All right. And then you can get uh, whole bean or ground. But yeah, it's they can start it for the for the the uh, single bag thing. You can get every two weeks or four weeks, uh, 14 bucks, which is which seems like a a pretty general. Yeah. It's a 12 ounce bag. Yeah. That's what everybody else is, about right. is doing. That $15 range. Yeah. So that that makes sense. I, I do not see any options for a five. You ounce want a bag. five ounce bag? For no, I don't want a five ounce bag. Not going to happen. <laughs> uh it's good though i i, I don't taste uh pecan pie or, or honey but uh but i do miss a good pecan pie i do i'm not a i'm not a big uh what's the, my my grandma used to call them cockroaches cockroach pie because she said she thought the pecans looked like cockroaches that's disturbing a little bit i know isn't it i never thought about it like she that. liked it though i i don't like the whatever that filling is underneath the pecans I, I, I've had it's some different texture yeah. depending on who makes it. Give me my grandma did that shit. I grew up on my grandma's pecan pie, so I mean, fuck it. It's oh, me it. too. <laughs> <laughs> right. Rest in peace, Sally Mae. Uh, we get we get into some news. <laughs> you got. We this. are getting into news. <laughs> After ten years studying sleep, the U.S. military just revealed something eye-opening about caffeine. So. The military did this The military report? did this. They did a study because it was like, you know, the average soldier gets five hours of sleep a night, whether they're on duty or at home. And I started thinking, I'm like, well, shit, I got less than five hours of sleep a night for like 14 years raising kids. What are we talking about? Right. Um, 
and so this article was actually a little anticlimactic because they say that they've discovered this algorithm that tells you how much caffeine you'll need to get through a day and how and what times you should be taking that caffeine to get through the day if you're sleep deprived. Yeah. So here's a few examples of what the average sleep deprived person in various situations would have to consume to achieve the same level of alertness they'd have with eight hours of sleep. Getting by on five hours of sleep a night? Mm -hmm. Question mark. You might need to consume the equivalent of two cups of weak coffee when you wake up, followed by another two cups four hours later. Let me ask you guys a question out there. Yeah. Is that rocket science? No. No. You're more attentive when you get more sleep? I'm shocked. Well, also, when you're exhausted and you have some coffee to get through the day, and then you taper off again and you're exhausted and you drink more coffee to get through the day, I think that's a pretty standard thing people do. Yeah. So. I agree. Um. George, are you getting reasonable amounts of sleep, but you're working an overnight shift? No. Okay. But if you were, you'd you'd be best off drinking a quick two cups of coffee right at the start of your shift. And it'll get you through? It'll get you through. Is this based on eight-hour shift? Uh, Let's assume. I don't even know what a shift is in the military. Me neither. Like you, I, I get the shift is just until they tell you at ease, I guess. Right. You're like- I haven't been in the military. But mm -hmm. it says right there on your hat, you're a veteran. Uh, Of the strip clubs. Oh, my bad. Okay. Please. Like I said. What's what's the average shift of a strip club? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, four tens. Uh, <laughs> and if you're expecting you, you won't be able to sleep much at all for more than a day or two, you're supposed to drink the equivalent of two cups of coffee at midnight, 4 a.m., and 8 a.m. Why would you not sleep for a day or two? Hey, you know, if you're in the military, maybe you got some crazy shit going on. Reefman said the goal here is to squeeze the maximum amount of benefit from the caffeine you're consuming while making sure the total caffeine in your bloodstream doesn't exceed a threshold of 400 milligrams at any one time. So don't drink a pot of coffee. Yeah, you should just have two Two cups. cups. And it says weak coffee. It just means coffee that's not brewed extra strong or extra shots of espresso. So don't drink just a regular cup of coffee. So don't drink two cups of cold brew. Maybe that would affect you. Because that tends to be strong. Yeah, that would be a lot Absolutely. Uh, that's good to know. It's crazy that the, that the, well, you think that's why I was asking, what is the, what is the shift in the military? I guess this is a good, this is a good thing. Cause if you're, I mean, if you're local, like if, if you're working on base, it's going to be pretty standard. Yeah. You're going to, you know I mean? Those you're going to head things. in and, and but work, I mean, bro, if you you're know. on a shift in the middle East, fuck, who knows what that shift is? Yeah. I don't, I don't know how that works, yeah. especially if you're one of the guys that's like doing. Yeah. If you're out, bro, if you're out work, in the field, you don't get to clock out. Fuck that. Yeah, you don't get you to like, oh, all right. I'm not one of those guys. Uh, straight up, I don't get on and, you know, thank you for your service and all that bullshit. But, yo, you people that do the military job, yeah. you guys you guys are cut from a special cloth. That's some shit, man. So yeah, I respect it for, for sure. I'm just not outward about that shit. That's nuts. Yeah, that's that's definitely got to be hard to do. Um, wanted to, wanted to bust out this one because mm-hmm. this dude is in the news quite a bit. Oh, your favorite rapper and your favorite tennis place. player? The, the, the best to ever. Hey, real quick, I'm just gonna be a jerk. Go ahead. You gotta stop pasting in here from Apple News. You need to paste the actual. Your shit was from Medium. Yeah, right. But guess what I don't happens? have a subscription. Guess what happens when I click on that shit? I clicked on it. I can't read it. Oh, you're an asshole. It's telling me this story is just one click away. I gotta sign up. What a dick. Well, guess what happens <laughs> when I click on Apple News? It opens up this stupid Apple uh-huh. News app, and then I need to post the link for the fucking listeners, and they can't get to the link because then I have to go then copy the goddamn article headline, then paste it into Google, and then find the article. That's a lot of crying, Greg. I'm going to have to bring a box of tissue. I'm just telling, for you, I'm just telling, you, what I'm just telling you what the listeners have been telling me. I will go. <laughs> <laughs> we said, hey, listen along to our live, our live recording of the show. Uh, you can follow along if you just get invited to our paper um, to look at all the pieces. So uh, your favorite rapper, Jay-Z. Uh, hooked up with Serena mm, Williams. Your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Uh, two multimillionaires. Oh, they hooked up? One from, no, well, just for this particular I thought it was thing. just Becky with the good hair. No. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> right, not, I don't know about that one. 444, four, four, yeah, listen to that one. Um, so they have gotten together and they were in a uh, series of funding for a coffee chain in Indonesia called Kopi K- Kanangan. Did I say Mantan. that right? Did you say Mantan? Yeah, that's at the end of it there. Escopi Kanangan Mantan. Oh, yeah. Did you hear my dialect there? Did I did. Did you hear the accent? Oh, yeah. You you, you nailed it. 
I mean, look at dog. Look at my skin color. Is it no need to know so it sounds when reading more about this, it sounds like that uh, Kopi Kanangan is like the Starbucks of. It's Italy. like they're positioning themselves to be the Starbucks it, of Asia. Right. Right. That's what it seems like. And you know, look, Jay hasn't touched too many things in the last ten years that don't go well. That's what she said. So, <laughs> so. Uh, I'm Serena Williams would whoop his. What about that four four ass. or that 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 forty forty club out here at the Venetian? Uh, did it did it fail? Oh my God! I think it was open for two months. Because it's been it's been uh, twelve years, 14, 15 years since they opened. No, it. but it's been Legacy's. For, That's what I'm saying. It soon became Legacy's after it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was it, it just was, not design right or? Uh, I, <laughs> from what I heard, it was too many black people coming into the casino and hanging out outside the club. Adelson didn't like it? And they were like, nah, this ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it. That's what I heard. Wow. That's a... You heard it here first. They didn't like the crowd. There was a 4040 club in New York. Which was open for a while. It's not open anymore? I don't think so. Okay. That was his club, though? He started that? That was uh, his franchise? With partners. Okay. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Well, okay. So one one failure... I mean, and I did say ten years. He's far from a failure, though. No, he's yeah. He's I'm, definitely, just, I, I'm just fucking with you. He's got some. He's got some. Uh, some some good direction on where to put his money. Um, but definitely, they did a total round of funding of twenty million. The majority of the that twenty million came out of a venture fund in India. Um, but if you look at the article, and again, we'll separate it from Apple News. Uh, there's a photo of their branding, which is their text is just written out in some font on the cup but it looks like boba tea if you if you look at it. and i'm yeah. the bobas i actually recently had boba tea oh yeah i've had it i had it a while ago and i was like i don't like this gelatinous no shit at the bottom no the it's a good. texture thing for me and you you know you you put the thick straw in there so you can get the bobas out it's like i don't i just don't want candy in a cup jelly candy in a cup of that's tea what it's like anything yeah i don't want that i'm good yeah but the tea, the tea itself uh, that I that I got, I think it was it was green, green passion tea or something. Mm -hmm. I thought it tasted delicious. Yeah. It was really good. But the things in the bottom, yeah, I don't play that. You could add as much as you wanted to to the cup. It, it, we were in, uh, I guess, what Vegas is. I know exactly what you're talking about. And there's one by my house that's like that too. It's called milk a, tea, and it has okay. So there's a, a there's a, a like bar, a, a buffet yeah. of sorts. First time, first time experience in that for it's me. A, it's a bit much for me. Just give me some fucking tea. But yeah, I, I put one little scooper in there, so I had some at the yeah, bottom. Try it out. And yeah, once you get once you get the you know slimy, yeah, it's different. It's different. I ain't I ain't a huge this fan. Is not just the tea, bro. Um, we've been talking a lot about how people are. You said not to use the word creamer, so I won't use the word creamer. Yeah, I don't but, like that. It's <laughs> But we need to come up with another term for it because it's nut milks, George. Well, what can I? I'm just telling you what the industry says. <laughs> um, Alternative milk. They, that's what they're. That's what the article is calling it. Alt milk. Alt milk. Oh so God! It's not alt right. Alt milk. alt milk. Oh, they're canceled. <laughs> they're canceled. I, I heard they align with Donald Trump. Um, you also mentioned this one, Khalifa Farms. Mm, Wiz Khalifa Farms. Uh, yes, I actually, have some Khalifa. That exact. No, it's Mia Khalifa I, Farms. I have, <laughs> <laughs> only a strip club vet would know that's right um i have that khalifa farms in the fridge right i know now, to be you, with you you brought these guys up and that's what sparked me on the article i don't know why i'm not getting my pockets padded right now man you should be i'm kidding <laughs> i'm kidding uh you may have helped them secure a series d round of funding um a I, series d i don't understand <laughs> series d's nuts <laughs> milk okay I, here's a no, I'm not, not from the world of investing or any of that. I have worked for a dot com company that went oh. through a round of funding. Baller alert! Yeah, no, look, I'm gonna brag. Was, My God, it, the sad part is it was God. Was it twenty year, twenty years ago? <laughs> it's hard. That's now, hard to only, say. You're only two years old. I know. It's really hard to say. Uh, but that was a Series A round. It was like eighty two million. We sped through that in. I say we like I had some say in it. Right. I was like a ground level you know right 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 above entry level person so um but this is a, a series round d so they've had abc they've had yeah, three, three rounds, rounds of funding prior, prior yeah. and uh they had just raised 50 million uh in 2018 but this one is 225 million 
sure. for the fourth time going through raising money. So I, what I'm trying to figure out is would they do with the first three rounds of money that you're not you're not at a profitable point where you can sustain business without raising rounds unless you're launching like a new product line and you need to raise right. funding for i mean you would assume what's going on here is that realistically if, if they've if they've been able to make it into a series round d um they've there's some profit there, there's profit and they're paying back their investors or have paid back a good chunk to investors Isn't, and it's still attractive to invest investors to keep pumping money into but those are those those three rounds of investors prior right which there are different companies right you're paying them back with the new round of funding, um, or it's they or of, they made enough money to just pay get to get close to paying those investors back, and they're still growing as a company. But those investors don't lose their equity, right? In the company, right? Understood. So I'm trying. What I'm trying to figure out is that sounds like a Ponzi scheme. You're saying, I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying. That that like, if but, you're so taking, here's the question then: What are we missing that is still making it attractive to, to investors in a, in a fourth round. The only thing I can think of is you go into this article. This company has been in business for 10 years. Yeah. So it's not like, hey, we're out. You know, we've been out for a year. They're, they've been years. in like the almond milk game and all that shit for quite some time. Right. So yeah. um, in the article, it does show, and maybe this is the reason, it does show, we've talked about uh, for a while now, these new canned uh, canned coffee canned lattes, canned yeah, yeah, yeah. espressos. Last week we reviewed, um, or was it two weeks ago? It was two weeks two, ago. Episode Elemental. 30 was Elemental Coffee. Snap chilled coffee. Uh, delicious coffee. And in the article they've got four four cans of Khalifa Nitro lattes. Um, I wouldn't mind trying, and these are, these are all these lattes are made with their oat milk from Khalifa Farms. Gotcha. So I think that's what differentiates them from other coffee brands is that it's still coffee, but it's made with their oat milk. Not instead of moo juice or yeah, something. Instead of anything else. Gotcha. Um, two of the cans in the middle um, in this article, espresso and black and white, unsweetened black and white. I'd like to try that. Yeah. Because the ones on the outside, the mocha and the salted caramel. I'm good. You can throw those away. I don't want to try those. Oh, wow. Trash talking. Um, Only because it sounds like those have tons and tons of sugar. Man, you just sound like you're better that. than everybody right now, yeah, George. You know. You lead us with the coffee. I ain't, you know. Told you. Nineteen nineteen fifty. Get those chains drinking soda. <laughs> Please come on. <laughs> jangle, jangle. <laughs> you guys hear it? Starting to sound like Christmas around is this, here. Is this picking up on the yeah, mic? Like Santa. Um. So no, I I thought it was kind of cool. You know, the coffee biz blowing up. Uh, Jay Z's mm -hmm. getting in it, and uh, so that would he's got champagne. Mm -hmm. He's got what's do say. Is that cognac? It's cognac. Cognac. And it's that actually was, it's actually pretty good. I haven't had it yet. I like it. Is it expensive? It's a bottle of expensive? Yeah. Bottle. Was it was like 100 bucks. Whatever. Something like that or a little bit over. I don't know if I'm willing to. I had it, I had it at Stahl's house. Oh, please. But it was good. I was shocked. I was like, oh, here we go. Another like, fucking. Yeah. I like it better than Henny and all that other bullshit. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I, I, I liked it. I mean, I, I like scotches. I like bourbons. I don't mm -hmm. know. What differentiates a cognac? Is it like a? It's sweeter and it's grape. It's made from grapes. If I'm not really? mistaken. It's got it's grape infused basically. Didn't know that. Um, but the problem for me with cognacs is that they, I'm good with one, and that's all I need. Okay, okay. it's just it's too like, sweet. It's syrupy. Yeah, I don't like. Is that. it? But a lot of people have cognac with their uh, cigars and stuff. Yeah. Like that. Okay. I still don't like that. Okay. Because then to me it becomes too syrupy between, you know, when you smoke a cigar and there's just that. There's a sugar to it, yeah. Especially you know in the wrapper, and I don't want to have a sweet cigar and then drinking a sweet drink too. I just yeah, nah, I'm good. I like a little it, the shot. viscosity of a cognac is is thicker. It's thicker, yeah. Huh. Man, it, to, me. to me, it is. I could be totally wrong, but I think I think it has. There's a little too much sugar in there, and I think it's just from the grapes. There you go. So yeah, news to me. I I don't know. I, I'm gonna try this next though. I know you've had Khalifa Farms, but we just re-upped on the on the Oatly we Not talked Oatly, about yeah. last week. They're both they're both pretty similar. It's good. Shake the Oatly though. Oh yeah, always shake, shake them all. Yeah, I learned that. Yeah, I I learned that. I like to shake it until when I pour it, it foams up. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I learned that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't not shake it. Yeah. <laughs> don't not shake it. <laughs> uh, hope it works out with your two hundred and twenty five million dollars, uh, Khalifa Farms. Oh, thanks. Uh, spend it well, um, if you want to. Email us at Khalifa at well, justice. I was thinking, George, we could start a couple rounds of funding. Let's do it. Please. Oh, man. We spruce up the studio. Do, do a series lowercase a. 
dude, we bought these arms for the mics and kind of find out. No, nah, nobody wants to hear about that. Yeah. Nobody we'll wants to hear about our technology. I, I am going to shout them out because, boy, oh, boy, I'm going to have to figure <laughs> something out with these things. Uh, George, wrapping up the news. Yeah, this last one, what do we got? You can buy coffee-infused cold brew gummy bear gummy bears and it's a serving is equal to a shot of espresso in terms of caffeine how much is how many gummy bears is a serving um i don't know but you can buy three like in the picture you'll see there's three little coffee cups yeah i i don't think that's a serving though but they also have like miniature coffee bags that you can buy with these gummy bears i'm gonna buy some of these i like the packaging just to try it i do like the packaging this little clear cup pretty cool um it says well, no, is that no? I was look. I'm looking down at the bag. I like the bag. The bag's nice too. So That's the company's cool. called Sugarfina, and this is interesting. It's all Sugarfina, the luxury candy boutique known for its gourmet treats, has teamed up with big names in the past, like Casamigos Tequila, Tito's Vodka, and Corona Light to release boozy gummies. I never knew any of this, so this is all news to me. You can get um, drunk off a of gummy. Or it has yes, a flavor. It has tequila flavor. You have to eat a lot. Yeah. Um, now the brand has joined forces with California-based coffee company. Alfred Coffee, never heard of them, to create the first ever caffeinated gummy bears. The new collection includes three flavors, cold brew, bourbon cold brew, what? and iced vanilla latte. They are all made with real coffee and have 60 milligrams of caffeine per serving, equivalent to one shot of espresso. Huh. So that might be worth trying. Yeah. Put that on my to-do list. I'll try a couple. I mean, it, that I don't really, what what was the thing in here? The sh- I thought it said sugar. Isn't that the name of the company, Sugar something? Uh, Sugar Fina. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it sound like it might be too sweet. Yeah, but I don't know. That. People love that shit. Uh, definitely might be worth getting a bourbon cold brew. Um, okay. Sure, if it tastes good. Yeah. I, I've had some of those bourbon barrel aged coffee beans before, and it just didn't pan out very how do you well. Bourbon, how do you bourbon aged coffee beans? They basically roast the beans and then throw them in a bourbon barrel, an empty one. Do you think it takes, do you think the beans actually absorb the, uh, supposedly without a liquid? Yeah. There you go. The ones I had were bitter as fuck, though. They were over roasted as it was. So oh, I'm not too good. sure how that pans out. It's not good. Uh, props to Sugarfina because <clears> the bag I, I really like. Yeah, the the, the packaging is amazing. I like the coloring and, so, and everything on the bag. It looks cool. If you guys there don't want to drink your coffee and you prefer to have a little sugary snack <laughs> with some caffeine in it, there you go. <laughs> I love it. All right, that's uh, man. We really. I, I hope everybody is getting these news that we search far and wide for. I, I do mean, kind of bust my hump on the news more than I should, I feel like. Oh, shout outs to Vince, by the way. Are we on the shout outs? Oh, we are on shout outs. Shout outs to Vince for sending me the uh, Medium article that George couldn't click on and read. There we go. I just put it in the notes. Shout there out to Vince. Go. Shout out to Vince. Um, also, Vince is big balling, so he must have a, a subscription or something to Medium so well, he can Vince read. Got, Vince got three kids under five years old, so he ain't sleeping, so that... <laughs> about, about not sleeping and drinking caffeine is very uh, close to his heart. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> oh, that's that's awesome. I you get two articles a month, and normally it's two or three. I think it's three. As I I get and not and not all articles are firewalled on Medium. Oh, they're not. They're not. Not okay. all of them are. A lot of times they'll try to firewall me. I, I got news for every company out there that firewalls me. Medium, uh, New York Times. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Oh, I'm out. Cool. I'll see. I'll check back in in a yeah. month. See what articles I can read it, for free then. Yeah, that's not gonna. That's not gonna. I understand the model they're putting out there, and I understand they need to make money, but it just doesn't work on me. But don't you need readership to get like their subscription model? It's got it, it, They're not getting much out of that. I don't know. I, w- not, I would love to see how it works. If uh-huh. you're not getting readers, then you can't get ad space. So you. They're just saying, oh, well, screw it. We're not going to sell ads because we don't have enough readership. So here's the thing. Like, let's say I see a link and New York Times wrote an article on coffee gummy bears. And I click the link and it goes, ah, read more. Subscribe now. I just go search bar coffee gummy bears. Oh, there's an article about it that I don't have to subscribe to read about. That's that's part of my gripe with Apple News because they've they've created a lot of articles where the headline is. They do the paywall too. Well, no, that's they they made the article Apple Plus. Right. So well, now I got to pay. Still pay well, yeah. Is it fourteen dollars a month? I don't know. Something like that. I'm not. I'm not doing that. Yeah. I'm but it's it sucks because they they kind of wrote me in. That whoever's writing the headlines is doing a really good job because it, it like oh I'd like to know more about that. They hired all those it. people. Buzzfeed fired. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> Grand opening. Grand opening. Shout out to the people that used to work at BuzzFeed. Uh, <laughs> Sorry for laughing at your expense. You're real good. Um, yeah, I don't have any other any other shout outs this week. Yeah, let me think for a second. <clears throat> shout out to my clients. Oh, there you go. In the 2020. Yeah, they got clients. me. They got me not sleeping right now. That's great. Yeah, that's okay. that's good and bad. Exactly. Gift, the and, gift the and the curse. Damn. Chat, you owe me coffee. <laughs> these nuts you owe me you owe me another chain you owe, you owe me a cupping <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible that's terrible that's terrible signing off all right take it easy